Dolphins in Fortnite! Goku! 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 <laughs> Sorry guys for the cringe. That was the clip from when the Dragon Ball skins first dropped in the item shop and it was my tradition to scream into the mic. So yeah, sorry, but, you know, I kind of had to include it again. What's up, my Jazzy Gamers? How we all doing? The same way that I ranked every My Hero Academia skin in Fortnite, I will be ranking every single Dragon Ball skin in Fortnite. The format's gonna be exactly the same as the My Hero video. I'm gonna do the gliders, the emotes, the pickaxes, the back blings, and the skins. There were only two things that I really didn't buy from the Dragon Ball sets, so I pretty much have everything. One was the Cell and Frieza gear bundle, and the other one was <sighs> Bulma. <laughs> you know what? Screw it. Okay, fine. I'm finally buying Bulma for this video. What a waste of 500 V-Bucks. So without further ado, make sure you get your Saiyan Pride, you get your evilness of Frieza, and you get your perfection from Cell. And let's rank all of them, baby. First of all, we have the emotes, and there's not many, so let's just get through this re really quickly. And number three, we have the charging up. It's it's good. It's still a good emote. It's nothing too special, though, compared to the boosting key or the fusion, but it's okay. Number two, we got the fusion dance. It's a synced emote, so it only works when someone actually wants to do the emote with you, but it's still perfect to the show, and it's the fusion dance. So being able to fuse Peter Griffin and Goku is the funniest crap ever. And of course, number one, we got the boosting key. This one just looks way too cool, and it's it's just awesome. It's just, you want to show off your amazing immense power levels to people. It's good. I find myself using this very often with other collabs just because it looks so stupid, but I love it. And just because there were so few emotes, I had a good idea to rank all the built-in emotes with their skins. So you can't do these emotes outside of their own skins, but I'm still gonna rank the built-in emotes, so they don't really have that much of a say in the skin ranking. Number five is Piccolo's. It's quick, it's just a, a giant burst, but it's nothing too special compared to the other ones at least. And number four, I put Vegeta's, just because, you know, it's kind of the same as Goku's, but a little less on the effects. It's still very amazing though, and going between the four styles, oh, it's perfect. But I'm giving number four just because, you know, the other three are just so much cooler. To me, personally, at least. At number three, I put Gohan just because of his enormous scream. Like, the first where he's just switching isn't that terrible. But then he just has the giant scream and it's just so badass. It's just so Gohan. Number two is Goku, because, you know, it's Goku. Goku's the one who's transforming a lot more in the show anyway. And... He only has that edge just because he gets the Ultra Instinct effect as well when he changes, which is very cool, and overall, Goku just looks so clean. And then number one, I put Goku Blacks, just because it has the best effects out of any of them, and he has the giant scream that Gohan has. So, overall, it's just a perfect one. I use this one way too much. Now, we are on to the gliders, and the gliders are interesting, so let's go over them. This is so hard, but I guess number six is the uh, the Capsule Corp one. I mean, it's pretty good. It's still a good glider. I just like the Red Ribbon Army colors a little more, but it's still a good glider. And then number five is the Red Ribbon Army one. This one is a clean glider. Nice colors. It's, it's okay. It's a good glider. That's pretty much all I can say. Now, number four, I put the Flying Nimbus, but technically it sucks because you can't buy this glider anymore. I don't know why, but it's just out of the item shop forever, essentially. I don't know why. And I wasn't able to get it, so I just have some footage. But yeah, I don't know. It's a great glider. I don't know why it's gone. It, it's so iconic. It's so Dragon Ball. But I don't know. If you have it, you're lucky. Number three is Lord Frieza Spaceship. It's very good. You do the iconic Frieza pose when you're going on it. It's rideable. It's very, very good. Number two is the Saiyan Pod. Like, again, this one's rideable. It has great effects, and it's so Dragon Ball. But not as Dragon Ball as the actual dragon, which is number one. Shenron is the goat. It has the best effects, and it's Shenron. You can't go wrong with riding a dragon down the Fortnite map. 
Now we are officially on to the pickaxes. Dragon Ball pickaxes, I said in my anime ranking video, they're either very good and accurate or kind of not the best. So let's get into it. At number eight, we have Cell's eggshell. I don't know what it is about this pickaxe, but it just grosses me out. It doesn't look that good, but it's not a terrible pickaxe, so number eight. At number seven, we have Piccolo's house, and it's okay. It, again, it doesn't really go well with much, but it's a cool pickaxe on its own, I guess, if you're like Piccolo. Number six is Frieza's spaceship staff, and this thing, again, it's okay. It looks like Frieza's ship. It's just, for me, it's kind of lazy. They just like put the ship on a stick, you know. But it's okay. Number five is Master Roshi's staff, and this thing is very nice, very clean. Tiny bit boring, but very, very clean. And Master Roshi's the goat, so boom, number five. Now, number four, we have Gohan's Beast Axe. Now, before you guys say that this thing doesn't exist in the movie, and it, Gohan never used the axe, well, you clearly haven't watched the movie, because right here, he is using his iconic Beast Axe. Now, for all, I think this is a good pickaxe. It has good effects, but yeah, it's kind of stupid. Number three, we got the power pole. This thing is just the definition of clean. It's perfect. It goes well with a lot of skins. It is very, very cool, but it does lack in the effects department. And that's why number two is the key sword. And this thing is very cool. Again, Goku Black used it a lot in this part. It looks very, very sweet. And of course, number one is the key scythe. Come on, man. This thing is way too awesome. It's huge. It has great effects. It looks amazing. 10 out of 10 pickaxe. It is now time for the back blings, ladies and gentlemen. Now, back blings, hit or miss for real. But let's see how we rank them. At number nine, I'm putting Gohan's cape. Now, it's a very good back bling, but you can only use it on Gohan. So, I really didn't feel right ranking it above other back blings that are, you know, you can use with anybody. It is still very sweet, though. And again, same deal with Piccolo's back bling at number 8. Again, it's very good, and it makes Piccolo Piccolo. It's only used for Piccolo. So, overall back blings, I don't think it should rank that high because it's technically only for him. And number 7 is Cell's shell. Like, you know, the little itty-bitty thing that Cell was in, and then he hatched from it and became AS1. It's a good back bling. It's just, you know, the weakest out of the rest of them. It is very, very adorable, though, for Cell. Number six, I put Frieza's pod, and again, this thing looks perfect for Frieza. It's Frieza's pod, it's the thing that he's in, but again, it's not the best. It's still very clean, though. Just put it on any skin you feel would hate monkeys as much as Frieza does. Number five is the Kame Senin shell. This thing is very clean. I love it so much. It's Master Roshi shell, and it looks good. The color is nice. It's very good. It just doesn't go so well with a lot of skin, so that's why it's here at number five. Number four is Beerus's little seer fish, and this thing is, again, very cute. It's the fish from the beginning of Super, and it's very funny. So, I like running it, and it looks very good with Beerus, so number four. Number three is the Dragon Radar. Come on, man. This thing is featured so predominantly in Dragon Ball. It's such a good back bling. It's perfect. It's, it's perfect. It's a perfect back bling. It's just kind of small. 10 out of 10 if you are looking for the Dragon Balls. And number two, we have the Power Pole. Like, come on, you can slap this bad boy onto any skin, and it would look amazing. And the pickaxe comes out of the back of it, so an extra feature there, and it looks very good. A true classic Dragon Ball throwback. And number one for me is the Piccolo Demon Symbol. Like, this thing, it just looks so unbelievably cool. It goes well with a lot of skins, and it's just good. It's a very, very nice back bling. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, the moment of truth, the Dragon Ball skins. Now, guys, just, I'm gonna bring this in for a sec, guys. Keep in mind. These are a lot of my own opinions. My opinions are definitely different than a lot of your guys's. So, whatever you think should be different, just tell me in the comments, I and mean, I'll totally reply. I tried to stay as unbiased as possible as well. Like, if I was biased as hell, I would put, you know, Gojo at the top of the Dragon Ball list. But, for now, I'm gonna just look at them as the skins themselves, and none of my own bias, and the pure quality of them, okay? And hey, if you get into an argument about what you think is better or not, just remember that shitting all over someone for their opinions most of the time is not a good idea and you should just try and have a very meaningful conversation rather than turning it all hostile.
I'm guilty of this too. I am arguing all the time with my friends about stuff. So you just got to remember at the end of the day, it's not about our opinions, but it's about what we do to make the world stay jazzy. So enough of the sappy garbage. Let's just get right into the skin ranking, baby. To absolutely nobody's surprise, number nine is Bulma. I mean, it's Bulma. Like, come on. But for real though, she's okay. She's a fine skin, but dear lord, her forehead is just ginormous. And compared to all the rest of the Dragon Ball skins, she is not anything too special. Like, she can't transform. She can't do anything, really. All she can do is just yell at you about not getting the Dragon Balls. So, that's pretty much just Bulma. Now, I feel really bad about this one because I love him, but number eight is Beerus. Now, Beerus, he's a great skin, but he's just lacking just a little bit. He looks perfect. He looks absolutely perfect. He is Beerus, but he doesn't have any styles or emotes, built-in emotes. He doesn't, you know, go crazy. He's just Beerus. You're never really shocked to see a Beerus in-game, you know? He is a very, very clean skin, though. I don't want to shit all over Beerus because he's amazing. But he is better than a lot of other anime skins. He's just not better than a lot of the Dragon Ball skins. Number seven is Gohan himself, the Cell-defeating goat. Now, his skin is really good. He just, he looks like Gohan. He's adult Gohan. But, again, he's lacking compared to the other skins. He's just, you know, Gohan. My friends always mistake this guy for Goku. They're like, oh my gosh, this is Goku? I'm like, no, that's Gohan. Because, you know, it's Gohan. So that just shows he doesn't have too much craziness about him. You don't get shocked to see him. But quality-wise, he's very nice. His cape, back bling, is perfect with him. He's just Gohan. He has that style to go Super Saiyan, as long as that built-in emote. So that already puts him above Bulma and Beerus. But, yeah, it's Gohan. He's great, although I wish we had a Beast Gohan style. Like, come on, they missed out so hard to do Beast Gohan in this game. And number six is Lord Frieza. This guy, he's great. Like, he is so much fun to use. His three styles are all great, but he is very big. Like, I don't know if it's a disadvantage to use him because of his giant head or whatever, but he is huge. They made him look very, very, very good in Fortnite. He just fits in so well. I was worried that he wasn't going to work because of how short he is normally. But, you know, him being really tall is also very weird. But it somehow works. And he looks very good. Sadly, there's no built-in emote. But you don't really need that with Frieza. And he's just good. But, you know, the other skins are definitely better than him. He still gets very, very middle of the rank. Number five is the Saiyan Prince himself, Vegeta. And Vegeta, he just, he's great. He looks very nice. Again, I can't stress how much I'm saying the same shit for all the skins, but they all look so good. Especially Vegeta. The only problem with him is that his hair is ginormous. Like, they made his hair so tall for some reason, but that's not too big of a problem. I mean, it kind of is, but, you know, it's Vegeta, so it's fine. And he's got the four edit styles, and they all look very good, and he can switch between all of them mid-game, so that obviously bumps him up so hard. He's pretty perfect. If you're a Vegeta fan, you're gonna love the Vegeta skin. But if you're not a Vegeta fan, then you'll still like him. Just not as much. Considering how big he also feels when you're using him mid-match. But overall, he's still great. He's totally amazing, but I still think that the ones after him still rank a little bit higher just because on their looks and just overall feel alone. Number four, surprisingly, is Goku himself. Now, I think that Goku is the same as Vegeta, kinda. He's got the four styles you can switch between mid-match, the built-in emote. He looks very amazing. Hey, come on, it's Goku. You can't get mad. It's Goku. To be honest, I would've put Goku at number one just because he's Goku and because of the Ultra Instinct edit style. It just looks so good. But Goku does look a tiny bit off. Like, his face is very minuscule, but it's very off. They didn't really do him as much justice as they should have. And he's also kind of skinny armed. Like, he wasn't really like that at all. Despite that, I would still put him at number one. But because of all, you know, the fans' opinions about the Goku skin himself, I'm putting him a little bit lower. He is still an amazing skin, though, and total W of a skin. Like, come on, you can't call this skin bad. It's Goku. Guys, it's Goku in Fortnite. Shockingly, at number three is Cell. Now, the first style of Cell I'm not too big a fan of. 
He just looks kind of weird and kind of scaly and weird. But the perfect cell is so good. He looks perfect. Every you, He's perfect. He is perfect cell and he looks perfect. Homelander would really like this guy because he is, gotta say, it was perfect. Perfect. Everything. Down to the last minute detail. He still looks weird. He's very weird. You know, if you're not a fan of Dragon Ball, you're gonna think he's a weird, scaly guy. But he just is perfect. One on one to the show, he just looks great. It is indeed ultimate perfection. But there are still two skins that just look way more perfect than Cell, sadly. But Cell going number three, and he is perfect. Number two is the GOAT, the Grill Master, Piccolo himself. Now, I was not at all expecting to place Piccolo so high, but the more that I used him, the more I realized just how perfect he is. He is Piccolo. Like, you play him, he feels like Piccolo from the show. With his hat and turban combo as well, he's just Piccolo. He looks perfect. I can't. I know the other skins look very good too, but Piccolo was just Piccolo, and they translated him perfectly into Fortnite. Piccolo is just the GOAT. He's great. It's it's Piccolo. And he also has the built-in emote, so he's even better. And finally, to either nobody or everybody shock, Goku Black is number one. Everybody was saying that Goku Black looks more like Goku than Goku, and I have to agree. Everything about him is just great. His built-in emote's probably the best one. He is just perfect. He looks so clean. His second style is perfect. His color scheme is amazing. And he looks one-on-one -on -one transformed from the show into Fortnite like Piccolo is. They just made the Goku Black set one of the best and cleanest anime skins ever. And uh, we just have to accept it because we all know that Goku Black would be the type to do this. Everyone has to grovel at his feet because he is the number one spot. If I do make every single anime skin ranked, then Goku Black is definitely going in the top five. Maybe top three, maybe top two, maybe the top spot would be Goku Black because he is absolutely amazing. I do kind of wish that there was a style for like Zamasu or Fuse Zamasu, but that's asking for too much considering that Goku Black will always and still will take the top spot. Not just on my list, but definitely everyone else's lists too. So yep, that's pretty much it. If, again, if you didn't agree with a lot of my opinions, or, you know, if I slipped some bias into there, that's my bad. But, I do hope you guys will have some discussions in the comments section, as well as just enjoying Fortnite and enjoying the ability to talk about these skins in such detail. Because they're great. Like, we really do take granted for the amount of care and love that Fortnite puts into all these skins. So, with all that, make sure all of you guys stay jazzy. And stay tuned for next month because I'm going to be doing some really fun-ass streams and videos. And yeah, just stay jazzy, my jazzy gamers. And if you haven't watched Dragon Ball, you should definitely watch Dragon Ball. Let me tell you, Dragon Ball is very good and you should watch it because Dragon Ball is amazing! <laughs>